Welcome back to Forte Sports. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does the channel grow. So we've been getting all this coverage about Bronny James since the summer league. And you all know he shouldn't be getting all this attention. But for some reason, they're going to give him the chance because he's the son of LeBron. You got guys like Steve Naismith saying that LeBron earned this. So <laughs> a lot of us are scratching our heads. What does that have to do with Bronny? Bronny hasn't earned anything. Like I said, he shouldn't even be in the league. He should, like Magic Johnson, like he needed to be in the G League for a whole year if they got to do that. But giving him all this coverage for a late second round pick, they're going to keep doing it. It's going to keep happening. It's taken away from rookies who should be getting shine, especially the number one pick, Zachary Rashier. If I'm pronouncing that last name incorrect, I apologize. I've been having a problem pronouncing his name for a minute, but I am a Hawks fan, and I wasn't too thrilled about drafting him as the number one pick, but that first game that he played, he he was impressive. I mean, 23 minutes, 18 points, 7 of 9 from field goal, and 3, three from 4 from three-point range. He was impressive, and it looked like he gained a tad bit of weight since I last saw him in the summer league which I just thought he looked like a stick. And he put on, he looked like he put on a little bit of muscle. I think he needs to definitely gain some more, of course. But I see the potential. I see it. I, I can see it. We'll see once the season starts. But that one game, I was impressed with what I saw from him, especially the three-point shooting. I, I like what I like what I was seeing from the young guy. Um, he bulks up a little more. I think he'll be a threat. But let me know what you guys thought about his first game, his first game, because I was impressed with what I saw. Next guy is Tyler Kolick. Um, I've, I've been a fan of him since his Marquette days, and I remember seeing him in the second round when he got drafted by the Knicks. I should have been talking about him um, on my New York Knicks videos when it's a spread talking about the bench of Tom Thibodeau. And he has been impressive his last two preseason games. I mean, his first game, 14 minutes, he was able to put up 11 points. Second game, 17 minutes, 15 points. Tom Thibodeau, he has a bench. He has a bench. He's going to have Landry Shamit. He's going to have um, um, Precious Achua, Cameron Payne, Miles McBride. So he's going to have to make a decision between Kolick and, and Cameron Payne. If I'm him, I'm going with Cole. He had some more offensive game for what we saw in these two games. Cameron Payne, yes, he will bring some defense. He's gonna. I, I have a feeling he's gonna go with Cameron Payne because he's a veteran. He he brings defense pressure and all that. But I like the Cole kid. I hope he does play this young man. And you know what I'm gonna say? Tom Thibodeau must. He has to use that bench once playoff basketball hits. He's got a deep team to me right now. You got, like I said, you got Landry Shim, Precious Achua. You got Cameron Payne, Miles McBride. Now you have this young guy who's showing that he has an offensive game. Think over time he'll be a good defender. I think he is a solid defender. I think he'll, under Tom Thibodeau's system, he will be more impressive. You got some other rookies that had some solid performances as well. So there's definitely more rookies out there other than these two that I watched, like Terrence Shannon and Rob Dillingham. I've been very impressed with them, especially in the summer league when we saw them and we got to see them in this preseason game. Terrence Shannon, he looked apart. Um, 14 points, and then you had Rob Dillingham. He chipped in with 21 points, and I'll be very surprised if these guys are not making immediate impacts off that bench. This is a deeper team that they have than last year. I know they don't have Carl Anthony Towns. They got Julius Randle and Dante Vincenzo. But these two guys, I expect them, to, I expect the coach to utilize these two guys once playoff basketball begins. I, I, I'll be shocked. Maybe by some injury, I hope that doesn't happen, but I'll be shocked he's not using these two guys once playoff basketball begins because this is a deep Timberwolves team. I still don't know how they're going to work. With Rudy Gobert and Julius Randle, I would rather them start Nas Reed since he can he's a perimeter shooter and can do a little bit more than Rudy Gobert. They're gonna have to make a decision with that. But these two guys I like. But post comments, let me know what you guys think about some other rookies that impressed you so far. It's still early, but we gotta get these guys more shine. But Brownie, they gotta they gotta show less of him and show more of these guys. But post comments, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel.